Hello YouTube! Finally, I'm able to start my Pokemon Ruby walkthrough. And I'm doing this an in anticipation for the new uh, reboot to these games coming out in the fall. So without further ado, let us begin. And the internal battery, who cares, who cares, and new game. Now this part is pretty standard in every Pokemon game. The professor of that game will come out and talk to you. You know, tell you what the Pokemon is, what they are, who, what they do. You know, it's just standard information. Look, there's a Pokemon. I'm not really going to read everything everyone says, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stupid stuff you don't need to know. You know what Pokemon are. That's why you're here. Come on. This is the important stuff, though. And who am I? I am a... Ooh. I don't know. I think I'm a boy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's go new name. And let's name myself... Gallant. Get it? <laughs> Alright, but seriously, come on. Gallant. Okay. So it's Gallant. Yes, sir, it is. I'm pretty sure I know my name. And I'm moving to your hometown. What a coincidence. Alright, alright, alright. Now we have our first mission. We have to meet him in his Pokemon lab, of course. Oh, but wait. Here I am traveling in the back of the moving truck. You know, not in the front with the people. I'm in the back with the luggage. Neglectful parents already. That's a good start to any game, I think. Oh, hey, Mom. You know, I'm a little bumped around with all the things in the back. <laughs> I'll be alright, I guess. And apparently we're from Johto. So I just rode in the back of that moving truck all the way from Johto. Come on. This is ridiculous. My room's upstairs. Oh, Dad bought me a clock. What a nice guy. This is actually the first Pokemon game where you have a father, I believe. So that's really cool. Other games are just, you know, daddyless. I love my new room. I love the GameCube, which I actually wish I had still. In real life, I meant not this. <laughs> Come on. GameCube is awesome. The Nintendo 64 was where it's really at. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Now our mom is telling us about the interview with our father, but we missed it, so I guess we'll never see him ever. You should go over and introduce yourself. Alright. So now we're going to go next door to none other than Professor Birch's house. That professor guy from the beginning. And we're just going to walk in this guy's house. And talk to this lady. I'm Gallant. Oh, this must be his wife then. Hey, our daughter wants to meet you. Go upstairs. Hey, I'm going to go bang your daughter. Hey, you want to bang... Huh? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? This is May. This is our rival. One of our rivals. Yeah. Spoiler. I'll catch him later. Alright, well, that was uh, interesting. So now. She says she's going to go help her father catch wild Pokemon. So that can only be up here, right? Uh oh. What should I do? Oh, what do I do? You should probably go help, right? Instead of sitting here listening to it, waiting for someone else to come. It looks like he's being chased by a dog. We have to fight the dog. And after thinking about this long and hard, I think I'm going to start out with Mudkip. Now, come on, who doesn't like mud kips, am I right? It's pretty sad the esteemed Pokemon professor is being chased around by a level 2 Poochiena when he has 3 level 5s in his bag that he can just reach over and pull out. Or if he's really feeling up to it, he can just kick the dog in the head, but what are you going to do? There's no violence in the Pokemon world, I forgot. Silly me, especially when the dog's threatening to rip your throat out. Oh, I was in the tall glass. You saved me. 
That's what the professor sounds like, I'd imagine. I, uh, I would love. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Huh. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Is it not my father? Is something to tell me, Professor Birch? I'll give a nickname. Oops, uh, I don't think I'm going to give him one yet, just because I want to think about it a little bit more. I want to make it good and clever. What do you think? Should you go see May? I'll go see May. I'll go bang your daughter in the woods. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you, though. <laughs> Alright, and here's the start to our uh, Pokemon journey. Probably going to run into some wild Pokemon here. Like right here. And a little tip for uh, you just starting out players. In the beginning of the game like this, you don't really want to use your secondary moves like Growl or uh, Leer or whatever else you might have. You just want to use your primary attacking move. Because if you just sit here and spam tackle, oops, and if you don't miss like that, you will kill whatever you come up against, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. At least anything before the first gym. Ah, uh, there's a spoiler. But the first gym is a uh, rock type, I believe, so... Will not be difficult with the mudkip. Not at all. Jesus, why am I having so much trouble with this worm for right now? I keep missing and my speed is lowered. And it keeps lowering my speed, even though I'm already slower than him, so... Maybe he hopes I'll just get so slow that I won't be able to move at all. Oh my god, it's working. Let me attack, please, guy. Please. Alright, come on now. Come on, let's let's be serious about this. There we go. Alright, the Wormpool's finally dead. Or knocked out, not dead. Pokemon don't die. Come on. And right here is the Pokemon Center, or the PC. And it's funny because this is the PC, and this machine is called the PC. So it's really a PCception, or PCception, if you, uh, because it's C-ception. Okay. It's a PC and a PC. It's, yeah, it was a joke. But yeah, you just come here, and, uh, that lady will heal all your Pokemon for free. Then she says she hopes she sees you again. So she wants all your Pokemon to get, you know, fainted and hurt and bleeding and dying. So what are you going to do? She's a bitch. Oh, I'm going to bang you. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, that that's, I just wanted to battle. And the thing about your, tra your rival trainer, anyway, is they will always have the opposite starter to what you have. Since I have the water type, she'll have the grass. If I had the grass, she would have the fire. And if I had the fire, she would have the water. That's how it is in every Pokemon game. And how it probably will be in every future Pokemon game. Or not probably, but how it will be. Because it just makes sense. It gives that extra, like, boost of challenge. I mean, obviously not right now, because, you know, I just killed it in a couple hits with my tackle, but... Later in the game, it'll be more threatening when it learns its grass-type moves. And boom, Mud Slap. Level 6 Mudkip. Oh my god, level 7 Mudkip. Levels for days. And Trainer May has been defeated. She gave me 300 Poke Dollars for that victory. Her dad has an eye out for me? The fuck's that mean? Is he gonna rape me in my sleep? I don't know. If I don't think I like that. But now we're just going to head on down back to the professor's laboratory. The hell is she waiting for me for? Over here, let's hurry home. I like how she just sits there to give you a reminder of what your mission is here. Like I could forget, or I could get lost coming back home in that straight path. Like, get the hell out of my way. Damn it, Snorlax is blocking your path. Heh <laughs> heh, because he's fat. Alright, but come on, let's be serious. Oh, hi. I heard you beat May in your first try. I wonder if I beat May, like, on my second try, if he'd still say my first try, but I didn't really want to find out. Good thing he, uh, doesn't care about this high-tech, uh, equipment. He just gives it to a little kid. I'll take it. 
Sure. Why not? I'll sell it. Be rich for days. Not for days, but forever. I think. And Pokeballs. Alright, and with these Pokeballs, we can catch... Oops, I didn't mean to talk to her again. Damn it. We can catch the first member of our team, who I have a pretty good idea who it's going to be. Damn it. Try to get in my way again. And our mom's out, so we will talk to her. Yes, I introduced myself, mother. You're your father's child, alright. Alright, come on. That's the second time someone said something about that. I'm starting to feel like there's something these guys aren't telling me. I don't think I don't think my father, quote unquote, is my father in this game. Huh huh huh. This is weird. Go get him, honey. And sorry, I was distracting. Or I was distracted. But uh our mom just gave us the running shoes, so if you hold down the B button, you will sprint. But if you sprint in grass, you'll be more likely to run into wild Pokemon like this. But it's only level 2 Poochiana. So our Mudkip will have no problem. Let's try out our Mud Slap. Oh, that's pretty cool. And lowers his accuracy as well. That's awesome. I'll just use Tackle. This Tackle does a little bit more damage and, you know. You know. Why not? It has more... Oh, excuse me. But apparently I missed again. And like I was saying, Tackle has more uh more PP, which means I can use it more. And if you run out of PP, you have to either use an item to restore it, or go to the Pokemon Center and heal your Pokemon back up to full PP. <laughs> uh I love this game. And a quick tour of the Pokemon Center. I probably should do this earlier, but up there is where you want to go if you're trading or battling someone, like a friend or something. There's the PC where you store Pokemon, or when you catch Pokemon and you already have six in your party, they'll be transferred there automatically. So that's that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. All right, now we're gonna head over to the first technically second, but I'm going to say the first anyway. The first route. This is the route we actually fight, you know, trainers. If you're an official Pokemon trainer, you can't say no to my challenge. So what is an official Pokemon trainer? Do I have, like, a certificate or something? Or, come on. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand here. But he has a Zigzagoon. Why you would want to have one of these on your team? Uh, I don't know. I don't judge. I'm just here to play, man. That's all I'm doing. It's really more of a pet than a po than a fighting partner, I'd say. Look at it. It's so unthreatening. Look at its mouth. I hate its mouth. It's just some sort some sort of zigzags. That doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I don't understand this. But and just like that, it's fainted. And oh my God, that experience for a zigzagoon. I'll take it. And just like that. Youngster Gal Calvin is defeated. Oh, I should have trained more. Eh, probably. Our eyes met. I'll take you on my bug Pokemon. And that's how you know he's going to lose. Because he is a bug catcher. And they always lose. Bug catcher Rick. Wormple. Oh, wow. Wormple. Oh, boy. This will be a hard match. Heh. <laughs> Catch my drift. Because it won't be. But yeah, this is all the Wurmples are going to do to you in a string shot. It's really annoying. Just makes it take a lot longer to fight these trainers in these battles here. Kill him. Oh, I wonder what the second Pokemon's going to be. Oh, Wurmple? Ah, oh, come on. No way. I had no idea. That's such a shocker. I'm truly, truly shocked that's a Wurmple right now. Alright, let's use tackle. I'm still faster than him after two string shots. How about that? Maybe they just suck. <laughs> and oh, almost level nine. I'm flying up flying up through the levels right now. And I know that, that little kid's not a trainer. There's no item down here. Oh. But here's a wild battle. And right oh Zigzagoon again. And that guy in front of me that I'm about to run into is a trainer, so we're going to have to fight him as well. 
honestly don't think there's that many trainers left on this route. I think it's him, maybe two or three others. Only uh, time will tell. Let's use another tackle and knock him out for good. Forever. I wonder what happens when all the Pokemon we make uh, faint in the wild. Because there's no one to really bring them to the Pokemon Center. Do they just lay there forever? Until another trainer comes along and scoops them up? Until animal control comes? Oh well. I'm sure, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're fine. But we're going to use Tackle on this guy's Poochiana. Level 5, so I'll get some decent experience out of this. Oh, that was a critical hit. But it still did not do much. And the poochiana is gone. 58 experience. Nice, nice, nice. And he sent out Talo. Uh, that's the first time we saw that thing. That is a flying type Pokemon. I almost wanted to call it a bird type. Because it is a bird. So... That's going to be an issue, I can already tell throughout this game. I'm going to call the flying types bird types. Oh well. You guys understand what I'm saying. I called you because I thought I could win. You didn't call me. We met eyes. We're trainers. Oh, excuse me. But right now I'm picking the orange berries. They restore health. You can uh, equip them to your Pokemon. And they will restore health to your Pokemon throughout like, when the Pokemon gets below half into the yellow. The Orin Berry will kick in and restore 10 health, I believe. And the Pekka Berries are, uh, what am I trying to say? They're all, uh, oh, sorry about that, Jesus. The Pekka Berries cure paralysis, I believe. I could be wrong, could be poison, but I'm pretty sure it's par paralysis. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I had like a, uh, had like a brain block there for whatever reason. And last, Tiana. Zigzagoon, of course, why wouldn't it be one of these? Just gonna tackle it a bit. Just gonna tackle it again. And we're gonna tackle it for a third time. And knock it out. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I had to clear my throat. And I am now level 10. And I learned Water Gun. Nice, 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 nice. She's gonna send out another one. I don't understand why you'd have one on your team, let alone two. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Alright, Water Gun. And. That oh, did a huge chunk of damage. Ooh. I need to go to a Pokemon Center, actually. All right. I had defeated the last. I ended up. Oh, I didn't even read what she said. She said something. She said she sucked. Uh, let's see. How do I? There we go. Let's go to. Oh, the Pekka Berry is poisoning. I was wrong. It's not paralysis. And I'm actually going to use both of these on him. Because I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center. Oops. I just checked the tag by accident. So you set on him. And I'm actually, because of the area we're heading up to, I'm going to give him the Pekka Berry. So he doesn't get poisoned. Hint, hint. Poisoning's a bad time. And there's an item down here. Oh, great. It's a potion. Right. So much for those two, uh, worm berries I just wasted. Damn it. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, and a C dot. Wow, that's pretty cool. I actually... Hmm. I don't think I'm going to use one of these. I was debating it, but... I just, uh... I want to save room for other contenders, so to speak. And he's not one of them. Sorry, guy. Sorry, everyone who wanted me to use it. Now we are in Petalburg City. And let's go heal. And another thing, you cannot sprint indoors. I'm sure you figured that out already, but just in case you didn't, you cannot do that. Only outside. Gotta follow the rules. And we're gonna head up. Head up. 
to the Pokemon Gym. And look, it's our father who has black hair. We have white. And our mom also has brown or black hair. I don't know. I don't I'm pretty sure this guy's not my father. Alright, but this guy, Wally, wants to come in and uh get a Pokemon. So he's asking our father. And now we're gonna go with him and make sure he catches a Pokemon. And he gave him a Zigzagoon. Damn it. He's definitely not my father then if he had that. <clears throat> But this is the game's way of pretty much showing you how to catch a Pokemon, if you didn't already know. A lot of the later games will pretty much force you into doing something like this. I don't know why. It should be optional like a tutorial, but they make you go through it anyway. It's nice short to the point, but it's kind of annoying if you're like a veteran like me. I mean, come on. I'm like the best ever. Nah, I'm playing. The way Zigzagoon looks, it just looks so dumb. Look at it. Look at it with its crooked smile. You don't know me. Don't judge me. Alright, but he's gonna use Tackle again. And the Ralts is gonna use Growl. Look at that. The Ralts looks like it has a frisbee in its head. <laughs> Where's the frisbee at? You throw a ball now, right? What will Wally do? Wally. I actually really like that movie. Wally? That was an awesome movie. But now that we're getting sidetracked, he threw a Pokeball and it caught the Ralts. Boom. In one hit. Alright, so did it work out? Yeah, I did. Here, take your shitty zigzagoon back. My mom's waiting for me. Bye. And I believe he becomes another one of your rivals. So you have, this is also the first game where you have two rivals. So, how about that? And right now he's telling us to go to a different city and fight the gym. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want us to start here because he's too strong. So, to Rustboro City we go. But, that will be next time, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next part.